In this video, we'll see how we can use the Stimulus Profile Editor to play back an antivirus stand macro to perform test automation. The first thing we'll do is we'll use the antivirus stand macro recorder from the Tools menu to record a macro. So we'll go to Tools, Macro Recorder, and it brings up the Macro Recorder dialog box. Now, when we hit the Record button, all of our actions will be recorded. So I'll go ahead and hit Record. And then we'll make some manipulations to our work workspace or our user interface. So we'll change the channel here, change the value of my sine wave, we'll make this a jump, and we'll also set the sine wave to a much higher value. Let it sit, and then we'll go back down. So we're making some changes on the fly. All right, so now we'll bring our macro recorder window back up and we'll stop recording. All right, so now I just need to save my macro file. We'll call it uh, test macro. And we'll save it. Now if I want, I can use the macro recorder macro player switch to play back my macro from the antivirus stand workspace but what we're going to do is we're going to use the stimulus profile editor to automate this process so I'll close this and we'll bring up the stimulus profile editor and now I've created a, a blank stimulus profile in my stimulus profile editor and if we go down to the other menu there's a macro player function so I simply drag my macro player function into my stimulus profile and it gives me the option to select a macro file and display how I want it to run. So I'm going to choose my test macro that I just created and then I'm going to have them or have the stimulus profile editor use the actual timing that I used when I created my macro. So I'll say use timing. Now I just hit the run button save my stimulus profile and now we're running our macro and what we can see here is once the macro starts running you can see the values of the user channel are now changing in accordance with what I performed now the channels of the sine wave are changing one thing to note here is that until the macro changes a value it will remain any channels in the system will remain at the same value they were at before the macro started running. So the macro will only manipulate values that are express expressly changed when recording. All right. I believe my macros are yep, the macro is now done running and we've played back the recorded macro. And we can do this over and over again now that we've recorded it. Um, so the macro recorder and macro playback is very useful for functions um, that may be very complicated or may take quite a bit of effort to create with a test script. You simply just record the macro and play it back. 